Before I begin with ILP marker, it is essential here to know a bit about introns. Introns are intervening sequences between exons that are transcribed and spliced out later by the process of alternative splicing thus do not translate into proteins. As mutation in introns usually do not alter the gene function, thus they are more prone to polymorphism. ILP or intron length polymorphism marker also known as exon priming intron crossing primers exploit variation in intron length among individuals. ILP primers, usually 20 base pairs, are designed from exonic regions flanking to a target intron. DNA of target individuals are PCR amplified, separated on a gross gel containing DNA intercalating dye such as ETBR and visualized under UV. Individuals showing variation in the fragments on the gel signifies the variation in the intron length. Some of the key properties of ILP marker. In many respects, ILP markers are similar to SSR, SNP or RFLP marker. It is a codominant marker that is it differentiates between homozygous and heterozygous individuals. It is sequence specific marker that is targets only a specific DNA locus. ILP primers are more conserved as they are designed from exonic regions thus are useful for cross species transferability. For example, ILP marker designed from rice can also be used for genotyping studies in maize, wheat and other related species. And finally, the results are highly reproducible across experiments and labs. If you want to learn more about the basics of markers, different markers like SSR, RAPD, RFLP and SSCP, don't forget to watch my other videos.